In this video, we're actually going to start building our Element Quiz app. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Xcode and create a new project. It's going to be a single view app. I'm going to call this Element Quiz 2020. Uh, I want to make sure that my language is Swift and the user interface is uh, the storyboard. Let's click Next and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. Uh, I'm going to put it in my what's my default folder and create the app. Uh, so now what I'm going to want to do is go to the uh, main storyboard and we're going to start working on creating our user interface. Uh, they suggest in the book that to set this up, we want to go down to choose our device that we're viewing and to select the smallest device available. For me, that smallest device available is the iPhone 4S. Uh, so I'm going to select that and we should get a much smaller screen. Uh, but we're going to use that and by adding constraints to the various elements we add to the storyboard, uh, it shouldn't matter um, which uh, type of uh, uh, device we uh, run this on, it's, it hopefully will all look uh, pretty good. So there's a few things uh, we're going to be adding here. We're going to be adding uh, an image view, we're going to be adding a label, and we're going to be adding a couple of buttons. Uh, so let's go ahead and add those all to the screen. So I'm going to go up, hit the plus sign. I want an image view. Click and drag that into here. And then we're going to get a label. And then we're going to get a button. I get this centered vertically and then I want I'm gonna need another button so I could go and add another button or what I'm gonna do is uh, make sure the button is selected and do command D to duplicate it and now I have two buttons I'll get this lined up here as well uh, so now that we have the thing set on the screen we're gonna need to do a few things to um, get these set to, to work the way we want them to. Uh, one thing we're going to need to do is the images we need in the image view are specific size. I'm going to go to the image view, I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to go over here and select the size inspector, which is the one that looks kind of like a ruler here. And what I want is I want the width and the height both to be 140. Uh, so we set those, uh, but now once again, it sort of shifted it off the scene and, and those don't actually uh, set constraints for us. Uh, we want it to always be that size. And so what I'm going to do is once again with this selected, I'm going to go down here to set my constraints. I'm going to add new constraints. And for this, I want width and height. So I'm going to select both of those. And since I already set the width and height to 140 in the size inspector, those are the numbers you should see there. Uh, if you don't, uh, go ahead and change them. And I'm gonna add two constraints. And basically what that means is no matter what uh, type of image file is set in or what uh, type of phone I'm on, uh, my image will always be this same size. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up our labels and our buttons. So for the label, I'm going to go to the Attributes Inspector, and there's a couple things we want to make sure uh, to do to the uh, text. Uh, for the, the text of the label, uh, I'm going to want the font uh, to be system, but I want the size to be 24. So I'm going to change that so it makes it a little bit bigger. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we're gonna yeah set the size 24, and I'm gonna set here. So when I clicked on this T, I get the style, and I want the style to be bold. So that is done. All right, and then for our two buttons, uh, we just wanna for now just uh, just the text and the buttons. Um, 
So for the top button, uh, this one is going to be show answer. And the bottom button is going to be next element. So that does two things. Uh, it, it's what's going to actually be on the screen. And it also now you can see here, we can see uh, the difference between our two buttons. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put all four of these into what's referred to as a stack view. And what that's going to let us do is it's going to essentially join those four items together so that uh, we don't um, so that they'll all be sort of moved together and grouped together and whatever type of screen we're on, they're all going to be shifted and moved and adjusted together. And it'll allow us to basically just set a constraint on the stack on all four items instead of setting constraints on each of the different four and hoping that all works. So to create the stack, what I'm going to do is I need to select all four items in my storyboard and there's two ways you can do that. One is you can sort of click and drag so you've got all four of them selected. Uh, the other option is to hold down shift and click each of them so that all four are selected. Uh, the next step is we want to put them in the stack. Now the image in the book, the book's a little bit uh, showing an older version, looks a little different from what I see on my screen, but I want it, it should have this down arrow on it and notice when I hover over it says embed in and when I click on that uh, one of the options is a stack view. So I have all four of them selected and I go down here, click on the embed in, the little down arrow icon and then I select stack view and now there you should see yours might look a little different based on how yours were arranged um, and notice that it, you know it doesn't look great right now uh, but I can move this onto the screen and notice when I move it you know they all move together and all to also notice up here that we see stack view and and if I select you know down from that now um, all these are inside the stack view. So I can still access each of the individual items uh, if I need to, uh, but uh, I can also just uh, get the whole stack view itself. So what I want to do now is I want to get everything centered uh, in inside the stack. So I'm going to select the stack view and there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, one is you can just go over uh, here um, and, and I can just select the stack view. Uh, you can try clicking, but uh, sometimes if you, if you click on the stack view, uh, you might actually just click one of the individual items in it. Uh, you can do kind of a drag click, um, and that'll usually select the stack view. Um, but once you, you're sure that stack view is selected, if you go down here to align, uh, and I select that, uh, what I want is I want everything horizontally and vertically in the container centered. So I'm going to add both those constraints and uh, set these both to zero, I add those constraints. And now the stack itself is centered on the screen. But now even though the, uh, the stack view is, is centered nicely, notice that the items uh, themselves are not uh, centered nicely in, in inside here. So once again, I'm going to select the stack view over here and uh, then go over here to the attributes inspector. And uh, what I want is uh, I want to adjust um, the the uh, the way things are, are filled into the stack. So the alignment here, I want, uh, mine was set at trailing, but I want things centered. And so notice how now we have everything centered inside the stack view. And then the other thing is the spacing. Uh, the textbook uh, suggests that we uh, adjust the spacing to 12 and what that should do is that should adjust um, how things are uh, the, the distance between the different items in the stack view. So hopefully you've been able to do this and you've been able to get your scene uh, to look like this where you've got these four items an image view, a label, and two buttons. Uh, you've adjusted the text on the label uh, and the text on the buttons. You've gotten them all into the stack view. You've got the stack view centered on the screen, and then you've got each of the items centered in the stack view. Uh, so you can then run this and test this and uh, see if um, it, it 
looks the way you want it to on each of the different devices. Um, it should be centered on whatever device uh, you choose. Uh, and uh, in the next video, we'll actually uh, start getting into the programming. Thank <laughs> you.